This video is sponsored by EA. Battlefield 5 is introducing brand new ways for you to interact with the world around you. Destruction is more organic than ever and the brand new fortification system allows you and your squad to take control of objectives and change the battlefield as the match progresses. We're going to talk about both of these topics today and thanks to EA who have given me early access to Battlefield 5 to record this video. Let's start with fortifications first of all then. In Battlefield 1, all soldiers had access to a gas mask. In Battlefield 5, that's being replaced with every player having access to a toolbox. This allows you to build different structures in fixed locations across the map that you're playing on. Set up a full sandbag wall around the edge of a hill to block the enemy's path. Maybe lay down hedgehogs in the road to stop tanks in their tracks. Dig a foxhole and then surround it with sandbags to create cover out in the open. Rebuild destroyed walls with sandbags or even build a snowman. These structures allow a squad to have a direct impact on their surroundings in a more strategic way, and I've heard that the snowman helps boost morale. Arriving at an objective now means rather than trying to use the cover that's already there, you can go ahead and make your own and change the way an enemy squad might have to attack you. Fortifications can be destroyed and rebuilt multiple times, and of course they can be used by either team, regardless of which team built them. As an added feature for the support class, they can construct machine gun placements. This is more of an attacking form of fortifications. You can find a few of these locations across the map, and once constructed, you may be able to lock down pathways and stop the enemy team from advancing on you. As for destruction, Battlefield 5 is really taking it to the next level. It's more organic and seamless than it's ever been in the past, and it now lasts longer as well. If you drive your Valentine tank through the side of a building, the wave of destruction left behind it will more accurately represent the impact that just happened. All objects now have weight as well, so destruction will decay after initial impact, rubble will start falling from destroyed walls and floors long after that tank has rolled through the building. This theme carries through to all of the destruction activities in the game as well. If you fire a Panzerfaust through a broken window, the resulting explosion is a blowout, all of the debris flying outside of the house. If you hit the outside wall with a tank shell, the wall will destroy into the room inside the house. You can even knock the snow off of roofs with the force of impact. This destruction and the fortification system, they really go hand in hand in Battlefield 5. Fortifications allow you to properly counter destruction for the first time in the franchise, opening up new gameplay options, and destruction has been improved to help further immerse you in the wider battle. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what you think of these topics and of the gameplay you've now seen of Battlefield 5. I'd be really interested to hear what you think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications switched on so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll have more Battlefield 5 gameplay going live very, very soon. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.